of the Christ to come. We have this comparison between Moses and Jesus, and this comparison is also going to demonstrate the huge difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, how, how much superior the New Covenant is to the Old Covenant. The law. The Old Covenant was you do all of these things and you'll be blessed, and if you don't do these things, you'll be cursed. Well, the problem is that we've all broken the law and have been found guilty. So we're all cursed, right? That's the problem with the Old Covenant, is that we end up all being cursed. Now, the law is still good. The covenant is still good in itself, but the New Covenant is so much better. It's far superior because Christ was able to fulfill that Old Covenant while simultaneously then being able to offer salvation and eternal life to those of us who fell and were not able to keep the Old Covenant. And on every level, the New Covenant is better. It's free. It's a gift. It, it exalts the love of God. It, you know, I mean, there's, there's so many aspects. You go, I could go on and on and on about the, 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 how, much, how much superior it is. But even down to the figureheads themselves, right? The new covenant is better than the old covenant. The Bible says here, verse 3, For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses. Now, Moses was one that everybody looked up to. I mean, the, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, are like, Moses, 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 right? Well, Jesus was counted more, have more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who hath builded the house hath more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And there's another testament to the fact that Jesus Christ is God, explaining that, look, the guy who builds a house, builds a building, builds something, um, may have a glory. Right? Wow, that looks great. Some brand new fancy building. Doesn't that look great? Well, the guy who built that gets more credit, more respect, because he created that beautiful thing. Right? The, the thing's just an object in and of itself, but the creator of that object, of course, gets so much more recognition and glory and credit to be able to produce such a beautiful thing. Well, that's the same thing with God and his servants and his people, right? Like, we're just, Moses is just a man. Moses was created by God. Moses was created by Christ. Christ is so much better. Whatever glory or credit or honor that Moses gets, well, he got that credit and glory through Christ anyways, through the power of God. And so much more glory is on um is on Christ. Every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God, which we already read earlier. Christ made all things. God, you know, the Father made the world through his Son, through Christ. Verse 5, And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Like I said, he is a, a figurehead or a type of Christ how many times did Moses intercede for the people in, in the Old Testament, right? In, in the book of Exodus especially. When you see the children of Israel going through the wilderness, and he's always entreating, and, and you know, they're sinning, they're doing wrong. He's like, man, i got to make a sacrifice for these people. God's upset. God's angry. He's going to destroy these people. I'm going to intercede. God, you know, if, if, if you could please just, just, you know, forgive the people. And he even gets a point where he's like, and if not you know, basically, like, let me be blotted out of your book, right? Like, forgive them and let me take the punishment, which is the heart of Christ, because it's exactly what Christ did for us. So Moses was faithful in all of his house. He was faithful to the word of God. He was faithful to the Lord, but he was faithful as a servant. And the key difference between Moses and Christ is that Moses was a servant, but Christ is the son, Moses is a servant in the house, and Moses is serving faithful, and he's doing what he's supposed to be, but it's not his house, it's the son's house, right? It ultimately all belongs to the son. The servant is there, he could be doing a great job, doing a good work, everything's good, but you know what? There's a huge difference between a servant and a son. 